Hello, everybody. Are you guys ready to decide the fate of the nation? Nation, nation, nation. That's right. Tonight is a very important episode of Everything Now. We are going to see the top minds of the Everything Now universe duking it out mentally and maybe physically on the debate stage tonight. Uh, of course, we've got a moderator here who you'll be meeting shortly. Uh, and we're going to be taking some questions uh, from you, the chat. So uh, make sure to get those brains revving, eat some brain food if you need to. Uh, and let's head over to the debate stage. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first Everything Now debate. And please, then we would applaud for that. Thank you, thank you. We have a lot of candidates to get to tonight. Everyone has a very specific vision for the country they think could help us moving forward. Thank you for joining us at Everything Now News. It is a network. Super Pizza is asking. It's Everything Now News, and it is a network. And so thank you for joining us here. And thank you, uh, Awesome Jossum. I hope you are inspired by the candidates you're going to see this evening. As I was saying, they all have a very specific vision for the plan, uh, future laid out. And we're going to get to hear that tonight. So let's start with two of our first candidates. And the uh, first topic we'll be getting into, obviously, we have many topics to cover. But first, we'll be covering health care. What a disaster, exactly right. A network for the news. Oh. Oh. People are sad. Right. And people are certainly shocked. Thank you all for coming. Oh, I should uh, introduce myself, by the way. I am David Niven. Uh, you might remember me from the Spelling Bee episode of Everything Now. Famously, we uh, met D Town and the Stoids in that episode. Uh, but we will be bringing me back instead. Uh, and so I am David Niven again. And let's get into the debate. Candidates, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? All right. Um, well, I guess ladies first, right? Um, my name is. Sure. <laughs> my name is Ellen Howard. Ellen Howard, um, and I uh, am a. I'm a collector of cultures. I, I am a friend of, of, of all the people. I am, and wait until you hear this, I am your amigo. Y conmigo we will uh, make uh, this, this nation great. <laughs> I don't know if you heard what I did there. I do speak Spanish, yes. Well, probably seem, not that many others. It does seem that you know a little bit of Spanish. And let's um, go ahead and meet uh, our... Un poquito. And that means a little. And let's go ahead and meet our next... Crazy candidate. that you hear that. <laughs> and I'm uh, Derek Escalade. You probably all know me already. Uh, I'm on my, uh, my Escalade. Escalators out there. Hashtag Escalators. How we doing? How we doing? I just got out of a sauna. Woo -woo. Okay. Wow. And, uh, Woo! I'm happy to be here. And I just got back Hola. from Taco Bell. <laughs> wow. And, and they got that, the And when you say I just taco. got back from Taco Bell, are you I guess why did you say that? <laughs> I I think it's clear why why I said that because okay. I, I I was just at Taco Bell. <laughs> it was muy bien. Wow. What a choice. What a choice. Yeah. And, uh let's Go ahead and get to our first question. Derek, uh, the woman speaking Spanish, thank you so much for being here. Ellen? Ellen? Howard. Howard. <laughs> Say Howard again for me. Howard? Howard? Okay. I don't think that's how you said it. Do you support... Derek Escalade. And we've already met Derek Escalade. Do you support a Medicare for All plan? 
Um, and I'll just jump in. And because I do, I do support it, but my plan is a little different. I support a Medicare para todos plan. And that's what my plan is called. And what's important to, are you dancing? <laughs> Yeah, I'm dancing. Um, and I guess there's no rule against that. Um, so what's important about my plan is that there's not three steps, or it's not numbers. It's not like uh, all these other candidates, you hear these talking points. Mine is numeros. It is tres steps. It is lots of uh, puntos about which we will talk. Can so, we hear any of those? Can we hear even one of those things you just said? Uh, see. Si. If you escucha. That and I think answer. I think there are people out there who will be excited about what I just did. What people do you think those are? Why don't you say it? Why don't you say it? I think it? a great many number of people. But you do think it's a specific group. Uh I don't know. How 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 is it? Uh, how do you say? How would you possibly know what I am pensando? All right, let's just go to Derek so he can stop dancing. Derek. All right. What's up? It's me, Derek Escalade. Yeah, the question was, do you support a Medicare? Oh, I get the same question. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I do what I don't. I don't like to ruffle any feathers. Uh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, not leaning either way. Sorry, if I could just push back on that. You're saying you both do and don't. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, uh, everyone's favorite guy in the room. Uh, so I don't like to ruffle any feathers. I don't like to, you know, make any drastic, uh, statements about any sort of opinion that I do or don't have. What about, and, uh, uh, what about any statement at all about any opinion you might have whatsoever? Uh, I love all of you, and I want, I woo want woo! America to love each other again. Woo woo woo! Well, that did not answer that question at all. And I don't want to get too combative right off the bat here, but I do want to jump in and point out real quick that I didn't hear one word of Spanish for my... <laughs> And now why bring that up? Why bring that up? It's just now? interesting because it, it really makes you think not only can he speak Spanish, but is there really only one candidate on the stage that can and does speak Spanish? Well, there are many other candidates we're yet to hear from, but Derek, would you like to attempt to speak Spanish right now? Yeah, uh, say hablo, come si, come sa. That's French uh, at the end there. Oing, doing, <laughs> chat um, this is a donation based debate and so if you do uh, help us reach our donation goal uh, dr. teacher actually why don't you go ahead and tell them what will happen in the case that they were to make there and look at Derek go he is yeah we do have a donation goal uh, I'm just setting that up right now uh, but if we dead. do hit this goal uh, you will see a campaign ad uh, from one of the candidates. So let me get that set up right now. I'm gonna work on that, uh, but you just go ahead and keep going, uh, okay, and I'm gonna great. get that set up. We have Ellen Howard and Derek Escalade. Ellen? Ellen? Howard. Is it Helen or Ellen? Ellen. And so I said Ellen. Yeah, yeah but I just think my friends and I would, would roll our eyes at your pronunciation. <laughs> why, why would you do that? It's Ellen. Okay, Ellen Howard. L N Howard. Is that how it's spelled? As long as you can know. call me whatever you like. No, um, I actually changed. I got my name legally changed so that it does have um, an accent mark over the second E, and then just an N Y little thing just hovering in between the two words. Do you think perhaps? Uh, 
instead of having substantial substantive policy that could help the communities you're uh, targeting here, you're sort of just trying to uh, vapidly appeal to certain demographics by uh, sort of half-heartedly attempting to speak to interests they, that you believe they have, like Taco Bell? Half-heartedly is an interesting word because I don't think anyone could say that it is easy to learn Spanish at a conversational level, which is what I've done. And I don't see any other candidates putting forward that kind of... Don't thing. mind me, I'm just surfing the web for DerekEscalade.com, the website you can go to to watch my various dance videos as well as donate to my campaign. What are, what are you doing that with? You're not holding anything in your hands, you're just... Here I go. I'm logging in to the internet right now. Well, if you log into the I internet, in. you can also find uh, several pictures of me photographed in my local newspaper where I'm painting one of those murals with a bunch of different flags on it on a freeway overpass. Okay, and I think I see. And I've flags. painted pretty much every flag, so. Mr. Escalade, do you have a comment on? What uh, do you what want? You Where do you, do you want it? it? Oh, wow. Ooh, Look at that. Woo, woo, woo. Another supporter of our great nation. What do you want? That's uh Where do you get want it? it? What do you want? Where do you want it? I you I, want it? I felt that it was a little strange that there were no, there was only the what English language on that Where do you want on that it? uh bumper. What do you want? Well feel free to translate Where do you everything want that it? happens. What do you want? Feel free to translate everything that happens in this moment right now. What do you want? Uh, of course. Uh Where do you want it? David? Where do you it's, want it? Uh, Where do you want uh, it? Uh Bien. Give me Bien. a close Muchacho. right nipple. Do Where do you want it? Uh, uh, you want it? Wall holler. Al, al der, derecho. Cerca de el estómago, pero más uh, alta. So you're saying a close right nipple. Now, it sounds like you're giving the location. Uh, si, 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 si. Now, that wasn't what I just said. You just said <laughs> C, 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 C. Right above the right, yes, but what? Oh, a close right nipple, uh, right above the right nipple, a second stomach. nipple. Is that, is, am I getting that right? Yes. Uh, oh, a griffin, okay. Now, do you, one should have, you should have assumed, you should have assumed that a griffin was going to be already put on there. I should That's have. like a default, is the griffin, unless stated otherwise. I, sh I should have known that unless stated otherwise, a griffin is the default image that people would like tattooed on Teddy. Now, would one of my candidates like to demonstrate their artistic I, merits? Well, I think that anyone who's voting for me would know that I am always ready to get my hands dirty. Well, then, Miss How Howard? Howard. Okay. Ele Howard. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and give us a griffin right above the right See nipple? See, un griffin? And I don't think that's how it's said. Uh huh. Right above the left nipple? Sorry. Right, right nipple. nipple. Oh, and there's not a lot of space, but you know, it's, it's going to happen. Um, and uh, a griffin is, okay, yes, see, 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 uh, yo entiendo. All right, let's get the machine And let's on. go ahead and turn that machine on. What do you want? Any, any, Where oh. do you want it? And, you know, why don't you just mix Where it up? Here we go. Where do you want it? What do you want? Where do you want it? This is what really just great. What do you want? What do you want? Uh. Look at Mr. Escalade go. <laughs> you want to ask me a question while the, over the, over the sound could, of the tattoo? Could, uh, tattoo. Uh, Mr. Escalade, how will you work to lower prescription drug prices in this country? Hey, I, you know, I think we should just have, have them for free and give them out, but also, they know you but also maybe you should pay. Okay, so um, what does that mean? I mean, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I want people to get their medication, but I also want, you know, you know, companies in, in uh, you know, the the uh, the the, vib the vibrance of capitalism right. to, 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 you know, rear its rear its soul in here. But also, maybe we should get rid of capitalism. I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I will admit wow. that I uh, sort of me uh, olvido uh, exactly what a griffin looks like, and I sort of just drew a hippogriff. And that, to me, is just as is in the same school of mythic beast. Um, and here we go. Uh, you can kind of see right there. You can see him. Yes, and.
There you go, sir. Uh, Theodore will return next to me. Oh, and, and uh, Aiden said, uh, is this the same sad man from Spelling Bee? And yes, I am that uh, sad man. Es lo mismo? Uh, I am not rich. I do these all no on a volunteer dinero. basis on the no, hopes no, no. that we Can someone give pay. him a firm hug for me and tell him uh, it's true, he's doing a way better job than CNN? Come oh, here. Oh, thank here, you David. so much. Come here. Oh, and, and Craig. I do appreciate this. And I do enjoy this. <laughs> You're doing a way better job. I am job. happy to be receiving this hug. On CNN. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. This means a lot. An extra squeeze. I can sometimes feel very bad about myself and my self worth. And, I'm and seeing you two hug I want to be your best friend. Contact. And I want to be your best friend, America. And physical contact. As long as I don't ruffle any feathers. Very appealing. Seeing you two hug is reminding me of how warmly I'm welcomed into all the places that I've traveled. Like when I walk into the home of a, of a family abroad and I smell the smell of dinner cooking and I get a warm hug because they love me everywhere I go and I travel all over the place. And that's very fascinating. We got a we got an interesting question earlier, uh, not question, but something came up earlier. Uh, Mr. Escalade is hiding right now, but earlier he challenged the <laughs> Just going up the elevator, if you know what I mean. He had to go down to not the basement and play some ping pong in the rec room. And perhaps the escalator might work better <laughs> for you going There's forward. There's a big old rec room at the bottom of this uh, studio. With your name being uh, Escalade, it might be interesting if you had said an Escalade. And a sauna that I just emerged from. You challenged the notion of capitalism earlier, Mr. Escalade. I was wondering if you could speak. Also supported it in the same sentence. Yes, so now I'm wondering if you could clarify for us a little bit. Are you pro or anti-capitalist? And the same question will be coming to you, Miss Howard, so just have Thank that ready. Thank you. And I think... Just going to say it up front, whatever answer you do give, I think the audience deserves to hear la verdad. Okay. What did you just say? I just want to say that I am... La verdad. Okay. That I am uh, anti-capitalist. Um, but sometimes, you know, who knows? Uh, could be pro tomorrow. So, uh, you know, whatever you want. A red alert. Uh, I'm here to not ruffle any feathers. <laughs> Only the feathers of that bald eagle up here. Why America's take, symbol why of freedom and justice. Uh, Unless you're not into that, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Yes, please, uh, please, Ooh. Mr. Uh, Escalade, you are talking over me, and I will not allow that to happen. So, why don't you? Take, sorry, Dave. One, and please don't talk over me ever again. So sorry. And why don't you take one? Super stance sorry on about that, Dave. If, Mr. Escalade, if you could please, why don't you wow. take one stance on? I'm zipping it. All. Unless you don't want me to. All, so just take a single others. stance on anything I, at all. Yeah, honestly, I think both me and David here are just. All right, I will take a stance. I will. I will. I will demonstrate. Where is the stance? I will demonstrate language. an opinion. Of a strong view that I hold. I believe that no one should be allowed. murder anyone. Okay. And then, Unless you're into that. Don't want to ruffle any feathers. I don't think anyone uh, on this stage is pro-murder. Uh, Neither am I. No, 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 no. Neither am I. Unless that's, you know, unless that ruffles feathers. Yo, no. Je, no. Yo. Yo. No. My French is better than my Spanish. They, we're very happy to have heard from these two candidates. We're going to bring in our next two candidates now. Uh, well, so before we get off to stage, I just want to say, obviously, vote for whoever uh, you like. But I want you to make sure what, when you vote, you vote with passion. I want, I want you to vote for someone who makes you feel like uh, both exclamation points. When they talk, so your you see family both. grew up in Connecticut. I, I read you, you, you're a 17th generation Connecticut Yeah, president. my grandma was actually part of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Fascinating, fascinating. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you will never. Thank you, 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 you will never escape. Please, I'm a brain, oh please God. Please tell us who you're supporting. In the end. Let us know. And the candidates In the comments below, please like and subscribe. Mi abuelita, yes. Unless that's not your thing. I'm going to ruffle your feathers. Ellen Howard. Ellen Howard. And, and uh, the abu abuelita Dolores? Dolores out. 
I don't think that's Power. true. And then we also Actually, have... Actually, a relative, a distant relative of uh, Thomas Jefferson. Wow, that's not a good... And thank you to our contestants. Contestants? <laughs> am I at a game show? <laughs> if I am, where's the money at? You know, in a way yeah. you are. Nowadays, you well, are. Well, unless so, you're not into uh, winning money. Mr. Derek Escalade, thank you for coming. Miss uh, Ann Howard, thank you for coming as well. Oh, gracias, gracias. Pleasure debating with you. And it's been muy bien. It's been and great, so unless it's been bad, and if it has, all right. sorry, don't want to ruffle your feathers. Time to go. So have I'm going to have you remain on the stage in the podiums you're already standing at, and then I'm just going to move the camera over to the next two podiums that are already on this stage. That's true. I'll be here the whole time. You will just be right next to me, and we'll meet our next two candidates. And we're very excited to have these next two candidates, and we also want to thank the two we've had so far. Just a reminder. Uh, if we hit the donation goal, we will be seeing a campaign ad from one of the candidates. I mean, what is the president's a reality show bread? I mean, when the pre president's a reality show president, and yeah, that's a, a great point. It would. That is a very great point. So, let's go ahead, and while we're staying on the topic of health care, meet our next two candidates. And I cannot wait to introduce our next two candidates. But I'm gonna. Uh, I thought we named him Derek, but Derek is nice too. And yeah, it, it wasn't clear on the spelling of how you spell Derek, but either way, we were very happy to meet him. Now we're gonna go ahead and meet our next candidates. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Uh, hi there, I'm Dan Anderson, Senator from uh, Kentucky, and uh, small business owner, and I understand that Americans like you are working hard every day to uh, work harder every day. And I just really think that we should be putting forward solutions, actual solutions. Everybody's talking about taxes. I'm talking about solutions. Thank you, Dan Anderson, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. And. Uh, what is your name? My name's Scrabby! <laughs> Scrabby, do you have a last name you'd like to share? Arr, no more, it was taken away with me eye. <laughs> wow. And I, can I just say that the Republicans are all Yeah! I can find, and here I am, and I guess I'm running for president now. <laughs> what a fascinating treat. We have a candidate here who didn't actually know he was running for president. He simply wandered in here after washing ashore. Wow, let's get some questions and see if maybe we want him to be our president, even though he is not interested in the job and is simply lost. Uh, <clears throat> Scrappy, scrap, scrabby. Scrappy! Scrappy! That's me! Staying on the topic of healthcare. Actually, let's move on to immigration. Are you in favor of decriminalizing border crossings? What's a border? Hey, <laughs> yes! The only border that sends between my waves! <laughs> must know what I was referring to just now. So I'm going to send it back to you, and I'm going to have you try to answer that again. I say we keep all borders, bookstores, open for business. Open them back up. Keep those kids reading some books. And well, that was one interpretation of borders, so I'm going to have to move on. And what about you, sir? What do you think? I, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I used to ride my uh, skateboard around my neighborhood. Oh, that's not the question I With asked. my fellow kids. Okay. And uh, they were from a different town than I was from. And no one would look me in the eye. And so as a president on day one, I would just go oh. lunch. People are very shocked uh, that no one would look at you. No one would look at me. And I would support mandatory eye contact. 
uh, from all uh, pedestrians to all automobile drivers, whether they are driving north or south or west or east or northwest or north south. He's seeming to continue to talk until someone will clap for him. Or northwest or east north or northeast. And I am out of directions, but not until I'm the president. I will make up new directions, three dimension maps. And that'll probably be enough for him, it seems. And eye contact will be pretty easy for me with only one eye. Thank you for your all-inclusive language and not saying eyes contact. I don't think anyone would say that. We had a question in the chat earlier that I seem to have lost, but I would like to stress that the chat is free to ask and should be encouraged to ask any questions they would like to our candidates to get a better understanding of their platform. Mr. Anderson, earlier you said a long rambling story that had nothing to do with what I was talking about. I'd like to ask another question to you here. Who gets America? Who's the big winner? You know, when I was a kid, I used to uh, ride my bicycle around with my kids. Uh, when I was a kid, I had when kids. When you were a kid, you had kids and you would ride your bicycle That's around right. with your kids? Because I believe that every orphan child deserves a child parent in this country. Oh. Again, you are shocking this crowd. This crowd cannot believe oh. what's happening. Controversial! And I used to, who gets America? Americans get America. And I'm for Americans. And I was an American when I was a kid, and I was an American when I was a kid dad, and I was an American when I was the dad of kids, and I was an American when my dad was his dad, was a dad for a dad, and I am for dads, and, and the again, only candidate on this stage that, that is pro dads. And okay, and you had to just stop at some point. Okay, I guess I guess. And I'll, that's your I'll time, stop. Graham. A uh, really great question from Ratcoin in the chat here. Is Scrappy, uh, is Scrappy, again uh, I apologize, is Scrappy a Billy Springsteen or a Gordon Lightfoot? Guy. And that's a great question. Are you a uh, Bruce Springsteen or a Gordon Lightfoot kind of guy? I think there's a clear difference in the style. Of there's that. only one guy for me, and that's Bruce. Okay. <laughs> the boss, boss. Springsteen. Boss. Oh, the boss. Oh, also clarifying question: What country am I running for president? In? America. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. And uh, oh, an interesting question here. What is your position on breathable air for babies? Let's throw that back to Dan because he uh, does work for several uh, pollutant companies, companies working in pollution. That's right, we're making organic pollutants. Uh, if you go on your Instagram app, you can be finding uh, gasoline made from hemp oil and you can be finding carbon monoxide that's actually made from grape seed oil. So why don't you speak on uh, Breathable air for babies. Breathable for air for it? babies. Are you against it? Are you going to give a long story that doesn't really address it? Well, when I was a baby, okay. I was breathing air that my and mother was giving me. And she would put me just underneath a semi truck and just let me sit there. And I would just soak in the exhausting fumes from the car. And I thought, this is great. What if we made this with oat milk instead of gasoline? And I think that that is a great opportunity for all Americans to be coming in and making their own products because we, we have a lack of ingenuity in this country. Oh. I'm actually for real oh, solutions. Now they're sad. Now they think it's cute. So the science on both sides of the air debate are, is valid. There's a lot of pro-air science. There's a lot so of anti-air science. Hoping I am clap. just hoping that the world will come to realize that air is nothing. for Americans. Air is for babies, but not necessarily all babies right if you're in a certain no tax in income bracket. And so I am going to abolish just babies. just staring as he waits for applause. All right, great. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Some really interesting questions coming in from the chat uh, regarding Scrabby. Uh, they seem to be interested... That's me! <laughs> they seem to be interested in figuring out are you a pirate uh, in the, the nautical kind or of the internet kind? And either way, what are your views on internet piracy? Yar! So let me break it down for you. When I was on the seven seas, I was on a big old ship made of made of wood and soaked in blood. And uh, I also had a couple. Uh, I had a few Bitcoin mining stations full of GPUs that were mining Bitcoin. So I was kind of uh, you know, uh, kind of a Bitcoin pirate, too. Um, uh, but yeah, I would sail around so that, you know, people couldn't catch me being, uh, maritime law and all that. 
and I would uh, mine different bitcoins, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, IOTA, uh, NEO, uh, Dogecoin. No one really buys Dogecoin, but that's okay. It's kind of a meme coin, am I right? <laughs> and I'm sure oh, I would have mined some Libra too if it would have came out but the damn government of the USA. Anyway, here I am, running for president. So yeah, you could be in charge. Wouldn't that be interesting if you were in charge? And we do have a question from the chat. What's Harry Potter talking about just got here? I don't know which of us is Harry Potter in this scenario. Really, none of us look like It's Harry probably Potter. me! <laughs> I guess it could be. They're probably talking glasses. about me! I mean, it could be me because I'm wearing glasses, but that's a bit of a reach. So let's go back to our question. Oh, now, as you all know, the beast is eternal, the beast is forever, and the beast is in charge of us all. Uh, have you asked the beast his feelings on immigration yet? I would like to sit down with the beast at a long conference table, maybe made of a dark oak, wood, or perhaps a maple. I think that the beast is necessarily bringing points that are polar, they are controversial. And we need more conversation in this country about mental health. I am pro-mental health, and I am anti-bad mental health. And I think that the what beast in this country, you know, when I was a kid, I used to hang out with this squirrel at the park. And, and we would story. sit at the end of a long table, on the same end of the table, and we would talk about taxes, and we would talk about 17% specifically as a great tax. And I would propose In that tax way? upon other taxes. And, again, and if you reduce wants, that, then Americans are going to be saving happened. from the beast. And I would be going beast ended. mode with my policies. Good question by Maniac Marissa. Is Dan a furry? <laughs> yes, so maybe let's get an answer to that. Oh, yeah. he just threw up all over the stage. He just puked all over himself. Sorry. Hasn't gotten his sea legs yet. I chugged a Pepto-Bismol before I got on stage. Wow, what a choice to make. Okay, thank you for that question, and I'll bounce that over to Scrabby. For me? For to be a furry? No, not <laughs> if you're a furry. The question earlier about the beast. What are you going to do about the beast? Or what was the question again? <sighs> As you know, the beast is eternal. The beast, the beast. is forever. And the beast I forever. was sailing. It was probably about a fortnight ago, and I was cruising on my Bitcoin mining ship when all of a sudden I started swirling around a big pool, a whirlpool, and out from under a light shined through up to me a what dark do you want? golden Where light. Where do you want it? <laughs> and we've got another one. Another one? Let's go ahead and do it. What do you want? Where do you want it? What do you want? Where do you want it? What do you want? Thank you, uh, Wavy Lines, for subscribing. As you know, uh, this is not your first subscription, so just go ahead and tell us what you want, where you want it, and we will go ahead and I will have one of our candidates give it his best go, and we will judge them accordingly. And so, yes, W, D, Y, W, and I believe there's far too many W's from Ratcoin there. Uh, a heart with the word moom in it in his armpit. And Moom is not a typo, just to be clear. It is M-O-O-M -O -O -M, and then a heart around that in the armpit. And which of you wants to give that a go? Who feels confident about that and thinks they're a good, a good enough drawer to be friends? I have given plenty of bad tattoos! Okay. But I swore to never give one again. And that settles that. There you go, Dan. Oh, well I do follow a tattoo account on Pinterest. <laughs> Chill circles. That's good. And use that as well. All right. Uh, said a heart with Let's moon. turn that uh, tattoo on. There we go. Uh, Looks like we're using a dub for men product here. Yes, there are some white stains around Teddy's chin. It's a good, sensible male product for sensitive guys. There was a really great question earlier from Ratcoin about the beast. I would love to have him type out again if that's possible, or maybe surmise uh, so that I could prompt the candidate because I did right. I did find it to be helpful. And we got. Uh... And I can't ask if the moon landing was fake as well, but I'd first love to get that Ratcoin question. 
And let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. And look at that. It is exactly what you asked for. Woo, 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 woo. Dan Anderson, 20, 20 dot, 20 dot. Dan Anderson, 20 dot, 20 dot. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. You can go back to your podium. That's a, for the website. Yes, it was clear you were trying to promote your website just now. Thank you, Weaver Irons! And what did you just say? Thank you to Weaver Irons! <coughs> got it, got it. And Mr. Anderson is coughing up another fur ball. So, uh, we do want to know about the moon landing. Do we think the moon landing was fake? Whichever of you feels more strongly that you have an opinion on. I believe that everything's fake and that we're living in a big old... A big old electronic festival of lights and sounds and colors that's all fake. But if I could just cut in, but if I could just cut in for a second, that's actually, we're not doing that. We're actually living in a simulation electric light carnival situation. That's actually what I think. And I'm the only similar. candidate up here who supports that vision. I mean, Fair point! The same thing and said you're the only candidate that supports it. Uh, let's get a little more specific here. How did they fake it? We can't just get, along, uh, get through without getting into logistics. I believe that when we were born and we were we, we were babies, we were put in a sensory deprivation chamber and hooked up to a bunch of cables until we grew old and now we're just in this electric carnival of lights and sounds that doesn't really exist. So that's why I decided to be a pirate that mines Bitcoin because it's like, why does it even matter, man? You can do whatever the hell you want. Why are you running for president, huh? Why are you watching me? Why are you cheering? Why does it matter? Elect me president. Who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? Nothing matters. Go, go buy a ship and sail. Sail! Get out of here! Get out of your seats! Wow. That was, wow. Woo! 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 Yeah, they probably shot it in a Hollywood studio or something. That was incredible. I feel completely empty in my own life now, and I, I want to go to the sea. Oh. Well, well, thank you to these two candidates. We're going to get our next set of candidates. Uh, we're going to just. Dan Anderson, 20 dot, 20 dot. Dan Anderson, 20 dot, 20 dot. Don't really know what he believes in any way. Scrabby, we know a lot about. Run into the streets and yell, Scrabby! Health, That's how you get support me! Run into the streets! Care is too important. And yell, Scrabby! Scrabby! We need to be talking about this. At the top of your lungs! We need to be talking about this. Get out into the streets and scream, Scrabby. Yes, Scrabby! Yeah. I'm supposed to be impartial, but that's there's no wrong way to run into the streets and scream, Scrabby. Thank you to our candidates, Scrabby and Dan Anderson. Uh, we're going to bring out our next set of candidates. And if you've just joined us, this is the first Everything Now debate. We're on the Everything Now News. That is a network. Uh, and we are hearing from a bunch of different candidates of a bunch of different ideas on how to make this country they, theirs, the one that they are in charge of. So let's go ahead and see our next two candidates and get to know them a little bit as we move on to our next topic, climate change. Wow. Incredible. Roy, what much. was that then? And that was Butt Butt P-Man uh, having the Seinfeld bass be your introduction music, which was his choice and I think it paid off. Right, and what's a Butt Butt P-Man then? Uh, and yes, that's some sort kind of, of American. I yes. will address that, but I, I'd like to start by you introducing yourselves. You seem to be British, sir. Right, yeah, you're damn right I'm British. Uh, my ah, name's okay. Pip. So then you don't... You're not allowed to be president. Right, well, I figure, right, the whole president thing, right, it's a, it's a bloody joke, right? Your president's a trash. I figure, uh, may as well if, uh, go back to... Uh, a tried and true standard, and that's a monarchy, right? So I figure, scrap the whole president thing. Uh, you guys need a king, clearly. Uh, I'm the man for the job. Uh, Pip's your man. King. Is it Pip or Bip? Uh, it's Pip, but you can call me Bip, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm whatever you want, baby. As long as uh, you give me sovereign rule uh, until my death, at which point 
uh, rule will then transfer over uh, to my next of kin. And so this is fascinating. Uh, Pip, or Bip, whatever you'd like to call him, is not actually running for president. He's here to run for king. That's right. And is requesting that we switch back to a monarchy. Would we be under the British flag, or would we just be an American monarchy? Right, yeah, it's going to be separate, right? I'm not trying to uh, bring, uh, annex the United States into Great Britain, right? Britain's got its own problems. This fucking Brexit thing's a bloody joke. And Maniac Marissa brings up, well, first of all, Bubba P-Man brings up a good point. Where are my Los Spookies heads at? And I think they're everywhere, and I think Ellen would really love to... Ellen Johnson would really love to chime in about Los Spookies, so maybe we can check back in with her. Uh, but we do have this great question. Has the Queen approved of this bit? Right, oh yeah, bloody old hag. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, she doesn't even know about it. Honestly, if you want my real take on the matter, the Queen doesn't exist. Right? We wow. haven't seen her in real life in God knows how long. Yes, we you have. see her on the telly, right? She pops up on the telly. There she is, little old Liz, giving her wave. But when was the last time you saw her with your own two eyes? I challenge you to answer that. Maybe she's invisible. Well, I don't know what that means, because wow, and we have a very uh, do see her on the deli. Uh, glare coming from our other candidates. And so who let's go are ahead you? And get introduced. And, oh well, if it's time for me to go, then I am Doctor Zimmerman. Yes, yeah, usually lightning cracks when I say that, so that was very different for me to not have that happen. My name is Doctor Zimmerman. <laughs> oh, and yes, that and there it is. Um, you may recognize me if you're from my particular town in uh, Pencil Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Yes, it's a German suburb of Pennsylvania. Got it, got it. Got it. Uh, I am in the, the big giant mansion at the end of the lane that's always flashing with lights and having mysterious sounds coming from there. I am, as you may say, my town's mad scientist. That's fascinating. Thank you, Mr. Zimmer, Dr. Zimmerman. Yes. Oh, and for in terms of running for president, I have a lot of different plans in, already in motion, whether they come to fruition. And I'd love or to not. just get even one because I'm sort of yet to have got a single plan from any candidate. So if you could just give me, I, actually no, well, that's not fair to, to, to Pip, who is the first candidate to give me actually any plan. That's right. It's a clear pan. It works, right? We've got years and years of evidence. Monarchies work, all right? I it's... wonder if the queen is invisible. How would that happen? And this I don't is a know. Great question is is that a rhetorical question, or are you asking? Is asking? It doesn't know. seem possible. Dr. Zimmerman, how many nefarious inventions have you wrought? Well, I've wrought a certain number indeed. At, at last count, it's upwards of 300, um, and I haven't rued a single oh, one can. of them, though many people have told me I would rue the day that I invented them. I haven't rued a single one. Uh, I would say a large majority of them are massive ray guns of one kind or another, so... If that's what you're looking for. So you've for. invented a lot of massive ray guns, but you wouldn't necessarily consider them evil plans because you have not ruined the day as people suggested you would. Well, the, the, there are only pieces of the larger evil plots. The ray gun does not an evil plan make. A ray gun, perhaps, perhaps a fake uh, a sort of swatch of leaves on the ground obscuring a large hole and perhaps uh, a group of unsuspecting teenagers being lured into uh, a tour of a castle, uh, unknowing that I am in there somewhere. These are all pieces of plans, but not one altogether. <laughs> mm. Now, I'm happy to tell you my nefarious plans to deal with various issues. Yes, let's get into that. The first question I have here is from uh, Mummy Boy. And it is, do any of you candidates accept donations from lobbyists? I have an agenda I would like to push. So yeah, are you sort of open for business in that regard? Mm. Yeah, well, uh, right, I don't 
don't need money, right? Because the royal family has years of uh, of uh, property so and you investments. Said you were unaffiliated. With I am unaffiliated, but when I do take over the country as king, uh, there will be a tax that will be levied upon all the people, and that, of course, will go into my private coffers uh, to serve uh, me and my interests. So money, not a problem. Uh, however, uh, if you've got, um, like, let's say, baby blood. Uh, something that could revitalize me. I'm also me. looking for baby blood. Uh, right, baby blood. So if you're just joining us, we have two candidates here, both looking for baby blood. Neither seem to be American. And I do have to stipulate you it's got to be I'm pure. From Pennsylvania. Pure I know baby you said blood. that. Yes. Uh, I've always been in Pennsylvania. But no one says it like that if it's true, and I think so. That's sort of where the confusion. Tween is. blood doesn't work. I've uh, tried it. I've tried tween blood. Uh, you can get away with an eight-year-old's blood um, if I they're sort of immature, slow to develop, but uh, preferably a baby's blood is ideal. The Eagles are my favorite football team. <laughs> okay. Thank you both for that. I do love that, that sandwich with the shredded beef. You're describing a cheesesteak. Yes, a Philadelphia cheesesteak. And so then we have another question. Super Pizza is asking, uh, do you support ethical baby blood farming practices? Right, yeah, I don't have, you know, strong feelings. If you want to let the babies roam around in a field and eat dirt or whatever it is they do, uh, that's more than okay with me. But if you want to just shove Sorry, them in a box... that babies roll around in a field and eat dirt? Look, I don't know where the blood is coming from, and to be honest, I don't really care, you know? You could hook them up to a box, you could stuff them in a, in a cargo container, uh, but if you want to let them roam around doing whatever it is the old babies do, uh, that's fine by me. The blood is the important part. So, uh, uh, ethical, non-ethical, um, really this isn't part of my, of my platform. Uh, the baby blood is sort of tertiary, to the real plan, which is, of course, uh, to create an American monarchy, uh, of which I am uh, the patriarch. I have a great question here I just don't want to leave behind. Uh, let me get see if I get this right from Ratcoin. Mr. Bip, my man, my man, Bip, are you a more legitimate candidate to the American throne when the, when the Kardashian West? And I think there was more to that. But the idea is, Bip, my man, are you better equipped to lead this country than Kardashian West? Right, uh, yeah, I mean, of course, they've got experience. Uh, a lot of people saying that the Kardashians are the, are the um, uh, what do you say, the, the royalty of America. Uh, to be honest, I don't quite buy it. Uh, they've got a lot of money, sure, um, but they're not old and gross uh, in the way that a good king should be. Uh, I plan on becoming incredibly old and incredibly gross um, and so you will be able to count on that. Uh, I think that is a characteristic that you won't be able to find um, in the Kardashians because they will either stay hot or die young. Um, and so uh, you can count me on that. Uh, I will be old, I will be gross, and I will be the next king of America. I think I can actually respond to that question as well. Yeah, absolutely, go ahead with a simple question of my own that I think will make it clear of my uh, qualifications. Uh, let me ask, how many uh, talking bird sidekicks do the Kardashian West currently have? I'm, I'm sorry. Do they have any birds zero. that speak what? to them? Z zero, they have zero. Why do you bring exactly. that Exactly. Oh. For ethical, hey. dirt-eating baby, baby blood. Ah, and we have an ethical, dirt-eating baby blood uh, donation from Super Pizza. That means we'll get to hear a campaign ad from one of our candidates. And Super Pizza, since you donated the full five, do you want to just pick pick any of the candidates you've seen so far tonight, and we'll pull up the uh, we'll pull up the ad we have for them. And if it's a candidate from before, it might take a second, but. Uh, Whoever you want, we will be. Right, yeah, it could be one of us, too. I've got one prep ready to go. Yeah. It's in the... Oh, uh, they'd like to see Dr. Zimmerman's, and that's good oh, because that's good too. they're already on stage, oh, yes. and that will help us a lot. So let's Perfect, right. go I'll ahead just, and uh, pull up their advertisement. Let's right. cut to, to the ad. And let's go ahead and... Anyway, just going to go... Uh, Night on 
the night Dr. Zimmerman was born. You can't trust a politician who was born on a clear day. That much I know for certain. Perhaps I bring a dark storm of rain clouds everywhere I go. But when the rain clears, Dr. Zimmerman has left a perfect rainbow. So please, vote for Dr. Zimmerman in the next upcoming election. And also, send me uh, all of your cell phones and your electronics. I'm using them to charge a machine, and I need them. I need your help. Also, if you see my talking bird sidekick flying around, please tell him to return to the castle. He's not supposed to leave my side. You'll know it's him because it's a bird that will respond to you when you speak to him. So remember, <laughs> every time <laughs> you see a dark, stormy rain cloud, that's Dr. Zimmerman! decided to keep it in the commercial, but thank you nonetheless. We're going to move on to our next topic. If you're just joining us, <coughs> we've yet to get really a single answer from anyone. It's been, uh... You'd get plenty of, of answers if you only asked about lasers. <laughs> okay, uh... As president, uh, how will you, uh, keep our, uh, weapons... Uh, arsenal the, the best with the, with the most elite uh, arsenals in the global uh, Well our mi military is going to suddenly be a lot more laser based I can tell you that Yes there's going to be lots of lasers and ray guns <laughs> uh, I, I think we can all agree that that war has not been a, a great thing in the past. I don't know, I think war's pretty fucking sick, you know? So Pip is, uh, Pip thinks know, war is pretty fucking sick. You know, I'm just saying, uh, war is a great pastime, right? Britain's done a lot of great wars, we had a good old time, right? You get the boys together, you get the lads out, you have a couple of beers, you throw back a you few drink pints, a green all of a sudden, drink. you're out on the battlefield, right? There's a Frenchman over there, you take a crack at him, sure, it's a good old time out on the pitch. There's a moving arm that's come to life that you forgot about, you didn't put it back in the cage. Yeah, sure, you it's got a good to time. shoot it with your freeze ray? A war is just banter with the lads with a, a little bit higher stakes, that's what I always say. Pip. What was the best war and why? You have a question from Super Pizza. What was the best war and why? Right, yeah, the best war. Golly, there's been so many. Uh, my personal favorite war, um, probably, uh, well, it's, it's not a full war, but the Battle of Hastings, right? You got the Battle of Hastings. Uh, French, I think, it might have been the French. They're coming in, we're over here, me and the lads. We're hunkered down, and of course, when I say me and the lads, I mean uh, my ancestors, because this happened, uh, I think, in like the 15th century. Uh, we're hunkered down, the lads uh, are shooting, or maybe bow and arrows, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's a good fucking time. A uh, bunch of those lads got right pissed. Uh, but you do it uh, for the good of the, of the nation. 1066, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, uh, I guess your ancestors won. Uh, or at least fucked mid-battle so you could exist. And that's right, and that's the spirit of Britain that I'm trying to bring uh, to America 
because uh, you guys got a big military, and right? And that's your time. And for me, I okay, think yes, the most, uh, the best war is probably the one of me versus the human DNA, the genome, as it were, because it is. I'm finding it very difficult to make a human DNA integrate with that of a shark. I'm close, but uh, there's ups and downs. And I'm winning and losing. And that's your time. Thank you very much to both of our candidates. I think we're actually going to have to move on to our next two. But right, uh, elect me king. Neither of you are eligible. Help me charge my many lasers. You could have a king of America. It you could have a big laser. Feel that neither of you are legally allowed to be president. If you need so. me, I'm on a cliff. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us so far. Um, if you're really making that. Cigarettes seem nice. Thank you all for joining us so far. Right, I'm over it anyway. And you're going to remain on the stage just right off to the side here. Uh, honestly, at this point, I feel like Pip is the most sane person. And kind of seems, yes. And what a bleak prospect that is to have to think maybe I have to vote for Pip because you're then voting for a king, honestly. Um, and Scrabby has heart. Yeah, well, look, I think we can all agree. Scrabby's got good ideas. I don't know if they're practical. I don't know if we can put them into the world today, but what a what a voice, what a what a belief, and uh, definitely one I enjoyed listening to. Uh, if Pip loves war, and yeah, that is a problem. I expect good things from Mr. Pip in the private sector, and yeah, I do imagine he will be a candidate that loses and sort of immediately winds up working for some sort of corporate enterprise. Uh, and yeah, I guess a human shark hybrid would help in those situations, but I do feel that it would probably be turned against us because it does seem that Dr. Zimmerman was an evil villain. And so while I do find those uh, devices interesting, I, I worry they would be used sort of uh, against my self interest. But I'm simply here to moderate. You are the voters, uh, and we'll also be asking the questions. So why don't we go back to our next set of candidates? So we can further on, we, oh, we just fully didn't get into climate change last time, so maybe we'll get into it this time. Let's meet our uh, next set of candidates. Wow. <laughs> and you're, uh, you're Dan, Dan, uh, what's your name? Hmm? What's your name? Um, Charles Smith. Okay, you look so much like, uh, what was it, Dan Anderson. You look so much like Dan Anderson. David, you're getting much I thought it was pretty no. unique, but uh, thank you. You just look exactly like Dan Anderson. You look, you're wearing the same outfit as him, you have the same haircut as him. I can assure you I'm Charles Smith. Just look down at Dan right now. Just look at him. Just turn and look at him. Unfortunately, there is a steel plate in your up neck, my spine. In your spine. I can't turn that well to look, so. Well, you can turn your whole body. Okay. See that? I see don't him? see. See you. Well, keep looking at the other candidates. Do you see Dan Anderson right there? Looks there's, exactly there's like so you. so many. Um, this is the one that looks exactly like you. Uh, I don't know about that. Anyway, Charles Smith was your name? Yes. And what about you, the man who decided to not wear a shirt to this debate? What's, what's so, Brad Aladdin? I, uh, Brad Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, my, I'm, uh, I was supposed to be in this movie recently, but it didn't work out. But I think the sequel's coming up, so I, they're gonna do a lot of recasting. It's a lot of like CGI stuff. So, what movie was that? Uh, what was the name of it? Uh, well, Aladdin. I think was the name of the movie. Aladdin. Okay. I think that's yeah, they had to get to some. One for some reason. No. Okay, Brad Aladdin uh, and Charles Smith, who is not Dan Anderson. Thank you both for being here. Uh, I do want to get into climate change. Your first question: What happens when the ozone melts and the space is on the ground? <laughs> what happens when the ozone melts and the space is on the ground? Would, I, would either of you like to take that? You know, when I was a kid. Uh, I would look up at the sky. You're doing a long-winded story, uh, just like Dan Anderson does. I would look up at the clouds and I'd imagine the different shapes. This is exactly what Dan Anderson does. He even said when I was a kid. 
that I would see, and, I, and I'd use my imagination to, to imagine animals or, or uh, spaceships. And, and I just can't imagine a world where uh, my children or my children's children or my children's children's Verbatim children or my children's 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 children or my children's 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 children would do if they couldn't look up and, and see clouds it anymore. It seems like you're waiting for an applause break that's never going to And it, if the ozone is gone, of course, there will be no more clouds. Oh, and great. Woo! Quickly, Derek Escalade's <laughs> campaign Derek ad. Derek Escalade's and so campaign So very quickly, we're going to go to Derek Escalade's campaign ad, and we are wasting time by not going there right now. So let's, we're going to get to Derek Escalade's campaign ad. Thank you all for uh, oh. sounds so scary. Uh, ozone melts, space is on the ground. You guys just gotta come over to my house. Well, your, your house will be part of the ground that the space is on. Word. Uh, hmm. Can we go to your house? No, my house will also be on the ground. Brad, you're doing great. You seem like a very normal guy. You uh, know, when I was young, I had a house. And again, another story. It was, it had a door, a few windows, a couple bedrooms, yeah. a couple bathrooms. Oh my god, yeah. If I live in a world <laughs> where my children, or my children's children, or my children's 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 grandchildren can't be in a world where there's no houses. It's not a world I want to be in. Oh, he fully missed his applause break, and now he has to get back. Charles Smith, he has to keep 2020, going. Charles Smith, 2020.com. Charles Smith, 2020, Charles Smith, 2020.com. 2020, 2020, dot 2020, dot Charles Smith. Dot you just 20, said your website. You just said what it was. What's, what are you listing right now? Dot 2020, dot Charles 
Can I just say that that was the most beautiful speech I've ever heard, and I just, I was a child, I, when I was a child, and uh, it's just the fact that you're thinking about the children, it's just so cool, like, I just thought that was so cool, and they were saying all this stuff, just like, Thank you, Mr. Aladdin. Uh, it's like, have you done this before? Did you practice a lot? Well, it seems like you're all very prepared. I, I am the go governor of, uh, of Kentucky, so I've, I've done politics a few times. That's really tough. You just look so much like Dan Anderson. I don't know who that is. Okay. There's a lot of people here, so it might be confusing. Uh, but I assure you, I am Charles Smith and not the beautiful man, Dan Anderson. Okay, you acknowledge he's pretty. And welcome, Brawstream. It's nice to have you here. Unfortunately, you cannot be voting from Brazil, but if you'd like to ask some questions to our candidates, we can try to uh, help you figure out who your ideal choice is for president. If you're, again, just oh, joining us, no, anyone no. else, this is the... Please, that's, that's my water. So thirsty. That's my water. But why are you... That's my water. Oh, Brad? I feel like I got a frog thing. Brad, that was my glass thing. of water, and now it's dirty. And Thanks now for, your germs cool. are on it. I'll get the next one. And I remember You'll when I was a child. One. I'll get the next one. You come over to my house. And I had a frog thing. I would do this. I would I would extend my legs and perch on top of the kitchen counter, and I would and I would shoot my tongue at flies. And my and my mom said, "Hey," yeah. hey. said it, said, "Hey, Dan. I mean, hey, Charles." Okay, and now just now. Stop that! that. You said, hey, Dan, I and if I live job. in a world where my children, or my children's children, or my children's children, children's Brad, children's you're so children, affected by this, Brad, what? keep it together. Can't act like frogs, then that's not a world that I want to be in. Charles Smith, 2020, Dan Anderson backslash dot com, 2020. Smith, 2020, Dan Anderson backslash. <laughs> Charles Smith 2020 Dan Anderson back. Charles Smith dot hotmail dot okay. Charles Smith and a question in twenty twenty from and a question coming from what a disaster. Brad Aladdin, what is your stance on genie ownership? Oh, I just get it. Brad, <laughs> please, Brad. <laughs> I uh, jeans. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing the same jeans I've been wearing for uh, since two thousand and six. So. I think that's cool if you want to own them. Uh, if you have some and you don't want them, just cut, you cut them off at the knee, dude. Shorts. Brad, do you know the story of Aladdin? The story of Aladdin. You know, someone sent me a script. Uh, let's, there's a whole. I want to say it's the sequel to Hitch, but I could be wrong. It's not sequel to Hitch. When I was a kid there and I was just pumping out those scripts, confirmed. writing specs, and we are ending the Hitch. And, and full on features <laughs> and gets married, Kevin and gets outlines yeah. pitching to different studio execs when I was a young, young child. Charles Smith 2020 dot two zero Anderson two zero. Are we doing I'm snacks? Dan dot com. Did you get snacks? There's no snacks. I don't right. have any snacks. This next Climate change oh, question. Started. Have you asked the beast his feelings? Uh, no, wait a minute. That's not my climate change one. <laughs> Have you asked the beast if he will stop the climate from changing yet? And Repcoin asks, which candidate can eat a raw sombrero, and I will do that. No. First of all, if first of all, I will be asking the questions. First of all, let's be a hundred percent clear about that. All right. When I was a kid, no, I would, don't I start was a story. On those no, sombreros. this isn't a situation where you start a story. I'd kill for a sombrero right now. Brad, I'm fucking start me. Brad, please. I have cheese at 6 a.m. Just to go down to the food truck and, and get the sombreros right off the right off the block. That's all I've had today. Right off the carving block. Carve me a fresh sombrero. Charles Smith dot twenty. The beast is the bad guy in Aladdin. No. That's established. The beast now, owns what us happens all, and in the, the beast second half sees of the us movie, everywhere we go. Very subjective. I would say it's kind of an art film. You need the yeast to make the bread. It was like a Wes Anderson thing. Charles that Smith. And that's your I time. And that's both of your time. Charles Smith. And both of you have your time. Dan Anderson. I 
do need a ride. Okay, Anyone so Brad will ride. need a ride, so if someone could facilitate a ride for Brad, we are... Uh, first of all, don't leave yet, Brad. You are just going to wait on the panel next to the other candidates. We're just going to meet two other candidates. Um, but at the end of the debate, Brad will be needing a ride home. Uh, Thank you. Also, I'm totally voting for Charlie Smith. That dude was fucking right. Okay. Brad, running for president, will not be voting for himself. So I'm going to keep in mind with your own vote. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep going. We'll meet our next two candidates. I mean, I think we're going to have to call it on climate change. I think we're just going to have to say we got that. Uh, so the next topic will be gun rights. So let's see if we can get into even a little bit. Let's meet our candidates. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh, what? Oh, the lights are so bright. Oh, it's, oh, sorry, it's me. You guys know me. I'm uh, Lisa Franklin, and um, uh, I, it's me, your, can your favorite candidate, the one that, that most uh, polls have shown people find to be unrelatable and seems like she can't hang, but like, oh, but look at today. I, I, I was at some party last night, and I just, Wandered onto the debate stage. Oh, Lisa Franklin, the girl who, who everyone says is uptight and seems uh, not relatable and <laughs> can't deliver information in a way that resonates with, with, uh, with people. You could get a you get a drink with me. I have to have, have these glasses on, or else you can see my red yeah, eyes. That's your time. Uh, I kind of missed most of what you what? Oh, oh, did I forget? <laughs> did I forget a shirt? What happened last night? Okay. I'm very excited to debate gun control policy. And uh, this candidate doesn't wear a shirt. If you're just joining us, this Isn't candidate that, is doesn't that make you just feel like you know loose. me and can sit down with me? Uh, this candidate is like easygoing. Uh, friendly, like relatable, someone you can hang out with at a party, and I'm right, sure. Right, forget about my PhD. And I'm sure this next candidate will not juxtapose how uh, insanely lame she is. So let's go ahead and meet our next candidate. Oh me? Yes, you. Oh fuck yeah. Uh, dude, what up? Uh, my name is Duncan Say Duncan. Um, okay. Basically, I fuck. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so uh, damn cool. wow. Oh my god. Uh, um, Duncan uh, St. Duncan. Uh, Duncan St. Duncan, dude. Duncan St. Duncan. Uh, that's my DJ name. It's also my freaking given name, dude. Uh, wow. Uh, cool. Uh, and Wavy Lines is calling you Duncan the Douche Man. Yeah, is that your name? Aw, <laughs> uh, dude. Uh, I'm just like a douche because I'm always up in that pussy, dude. Oh! 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 We have a really great question here. Uh, yo, who gonna fat bleasy sesh in the Casablanca <laughs> low, 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 420, So let's go to Lisa Franklin first. Who gonna fat blazy sesh in the Casablanca low, 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 420, Um, obviously it's an, it's an, for me it's an instant, uh, yes. To that, and explain why further. Because I um, because I want to, I want to do that with you, and like I still have this hangover from from yesterday or last night, and um, and um, this morning you also. Know, people who often have hangovers and, don't and talk so, about them. And so, so what I want, I, I, it would make me just feel more better from my hangover if I could just do one of those. It's just like yes. you're really bringing up a lot that you have a hangover over and over again, which usually means it's a rare occurrence. Well, it's just my head's pounding, and uh, I'm more sensitive to light, right? That sounds like something you read off the internet. <laughs> no, I don't right. use the internet except to look at, um, what? um, <laughs> um, lists of, of porns. List of porns? Yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead over to Duncan St. Duncan. Dude, Same I forgot question. the fucking question. Dude. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you gonna, what? Who are you gonna fat, lay, uh, Rip a uh, blunts 420, 420. Oh, dude, fucking Tyler, dude. Uh, dude, Tyler, uh, <laughs> shouts out, first of all, dude, Tyler, if you're watching this, fuck you, dude! Uh, but actually, for real, though, Tyler, Tyler what do you do? Uh, Mad Chill, um, his mom actually, uh, just, uh, um, basically left. Um, oh so, gosh. yeah, we wow. don't, like, even know where she is or whatever. That's intense for um, Tyler. so I would, like, basically just, like, 
Chief of Fab along with my boy Tyler, because uh, I know that he is in a traumatic state right now. Um, and that oh, he's is your boy to like Tyler uh, the dude from the log ride when we went to uh, Disneyland with Ollie? Oh, that dude, you met Tyler, dude? Oh, I, I didn't, but I believe Dr. Teacher. I love Disneyland. Damn, dude. Tyler, dude, I knew you'd blow up, dude. Your SoundCloud's about to fucking explode, dude. This is what I've been saying, man. Fuck. Yeah. That's right, dude. That's oh, a yeah. great SoundCloud. And it doesn't sound like Miss Franklin knows what she's talking about there. Mm. <coughs> oh, you guys? Oh, whoa. Just a crazy thought. Maybe it's from all the drugs coursing through my system. I'm just like... Here and there and everywhere. How crazy would it be if we just like debated some uh, substance of issues? You're being like, yeah. overcorrecting. But You're I don't know if I'm gonna make it through without vomiting. You're maybe cause... overcorrecting now because you don't want to be on drugs while you're running for president. But uh, it, but that's pretty. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so you know what? My next question, uh, Miss Franklin, I want you to say the word penis. I want you to just say the word penis right oh, now. Dude, I fucking love just... this game, dude. Dude, I'm the fucking <laughs> champion of this game, dude. And we will have that. you do it, Duncan, but I just want you to just say uh, just and the scientific it. word. It's not, there's not it nothing okay, dirty about I it. I play this game all the time with my drug dealer. <laughs> you and your drug dealer take turns saying the word penis, so then you'll have no problem doing it just right now. Um, yes, and yes, and uh, and can you, you don't want to ask me about any of my, pol uh, my policies? No, you have a website with a ton of really detailed policy that anyone can check out if they want. So I just need you to say the word penis so we know you're cool. Okay, okay. And here it comes. Are you ready, man? I wish I had um, a shot or, or two, you know? <laughs> shot, shot. Was that, tra was that a shot you just did? It seemed like you were sipping two shots. Is that what you said? I wish I had two shots so I you could I... sort of be doing this with them back Because that's the, the Lisa Franklin way is just a little bit off. You skim it like cream off of a, of a latte. Well, I can tell you that that is not cool. I know I'm just it... the moderator, but that was lame as hell. So now I'm just waiting for you to say the word penis. Mm. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Watch, watch this, watch this. Duncan, say the word penis. Do penis! <laughs> penis, dick! Suck my dick! Suck my dick! We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, I fucking rule that game, dude. Penis! And, and penis. suck on my penis! Wow. Oh, oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. She fucking penis. Suck on my penis! Disconcerting the way you did that. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Incredibly, I what just asked you to say Where did this lampshade even get here from? Wow. <laughs> and a tie on it, too? And Lisa, um... And there's a tie? <laughs> Check out my website for comprehensive policies on how to curb the gun epidemic in our oh, country. Yeah, yeah dude, check out my question. website. Um, my mixtape is up there. I collab with uh, Brian and Bryce. Um, those are my boys from my LAX team. Uh, shouts out. Um, basically, we're trying to like collab and like create like a new type of music that's like a fusion of like hip hop and EDM and dubstep. Oh, I love, um, I love that. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna like be fucking huge. So like, check it out now. You can dude. get on the ground floor or whatever. Uh, dude, we should uh, totally rap sometime. Oh, we dude, you spit, dude. Why don't you do that oh, right dude, now, hell yeah, actually. let's fucking freestyle. Yeah, can we Lisa, freestyle? Miss Franklin, why don't you do a quick freestyle right now? <laughs> Whenever you feel ready to start. Okay. Okay, I'm just thinking about it a little bit first. Um, An ideal is gonna... freestyle, so you should just sort of Okay, no, 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 this is totally off the cuff. Ready? Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Listing Sunday. Listing days so far. So far we've listed the seven days. <laughs> Don't worry, here comes. November, December, January, February, March, April, Listen, May, June. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, helium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. That, that was right off the dome. So your freestyle <laughs> was... Your freestyle to show you were cool was listing periodic table elements. Was that what that was? God, I must be on the biggest trip from the... Um, uh, and 
the ed edible. I don't even want it. You know what? Why don't I just? Oh no! Let's, we're gonna it's start so with, bright in here, we're guys. We're gonna start with Duncan on this one, and then oh, we'll work okay. our way over. It's so bright and loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Duncan St. Duncan, how would you work to reduce the number of gun-related deaths in this country? Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck, dude. Honestly, um, that question is kind of like a bummer uh, for yeah. me. And, <laughs> Total um, bummer. Guns are like hella not tight, actually, dude, unless you're like playing COD or like fucking GTA or whatever, dude. Um, actually, my boy Travis does have a gun, though, um, and we actually went hunting one time. Um, and I shot a deer and I cried. Um, and that was like hella actually. Oh, no, dude, it's like serious, dude. Dude, it was like serious because I was out there and I had like a fucking emotional connection to the nature, dude, because I was fucking tripping balls. And, uh, um, oh. yeah, dude, do not go hunting when you're fucking on shrimps, dude. I'll, I'll tell you what. You shot a deer while well. I did. Yeah, dude, it was hella ass traumatic, much. man, because that shit was like Bambi, dude. Um, so yeah, that would be my stance is like, if you are gonna use a gun, dude, like, don't even fucking trip on shrooms, cause you will get fucked up, you will shoot Bambi, and you will be scarred and like fucking cry in front of your boys, Well, man, it's like not even that well, is one of the first policy pieces I've received, so, uh, Duncan, St. Duncan's solution to how would you work to reduce the number of gun-related deaths in this country is to not shoot guns while on mushrooms. So we've but got, you've seen them, there's a plan on my website. <laughs> Yeah, so why don't you talk about it, but also still be cool and show people you're relatable and not uptight. Okay, uh, ah, 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 here's my tongue! Duncan, you're being a little aggressive, so why don't you... Yeah, that's dude, it. I'm just like fucking playing, dude. I'm just oh, like, yeah, I can't help it, dude. Yeah. Oh, this is actually my gun policy, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm just fucking... So far, I'm certainly captivated by it. Okay, so, oh, again, but we're waiting just, for your policy on cover form. Okay, please well, okay. Cool. <laughs> please be cool. As no, you're it's doing. so, uh, it's so cool, and this, this looks good. Um, it's, it's crazy because I always, I always think about it whenever I'm watching Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> Is that your like your cool, relatable movie you watch? Yeah, uh, it's like. So and it's Mad Max Fury Road is so and I'm, they are they have ca the big cars and they are so they don't have they're thirsty or something it's from, I'm not sure I tried to there's like everyone's thirsty um and they have weapons and so that's what I'm thinking wow it's like mental illness is not the thing to blame these crises on it's misleading and it, there's not really a correlation Mad Max. Is what I say, and um, also when I'm watching um, any one of the Star Wars, boom, boom, and then they're fighting. I'm like, I'm chill, and I'm chill about it. But sometimes my friends are like, I'm, uh, violence, man. Um, uh, why is it necessary to have the kinds of guns? Uh, are you leaving? <laughs> Right back. And dude, he just like straight up peaced out, dude. That's that's actually sick, dude. It's like, why is it necessary to have enough? like semi-automatic like weapons that fire so quickly if you're like in a civilian situation and like the there's fuck? all these other like countries where the data shows that um, certain restrictions have actual actionable effects and like if we follow the models set by those nations, then it seems like an easy solution and like. And then uh, I love and Yoda. Time. And what an incredibly bad and boring answer that was. Damn, dude. You but got I, fucking roasted by the Nipmeister, dude. Thank you, Miss Franklin. I'm bored of that, but I'm my bra. And that was so boring to listen to. But I. Miss Franklin. You like Star Wars? Miss Franklin, my next question is this You're going to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Damn, dude, but can I, like, bum one, dude? Because actually, like... Oh, Duncan, you are so prepared for this one, aren't you? I'm just like... Dude, ordinarily, dude, I would have my jewel, but I, like, fucking left it in my car, bro. And so, like, I'm actually kind of fiending, dude. And, and, you know, I'm actually the opposite, actually. I've smoked so, so many uh, today already that I'm, I'm full. Oh, then you're probably very addicted to it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, all, I'm full. It's so, like Duncan, a... let's start with you. Oh, hell yeah. Why don't you just... Uh, rip fat hits dude, off this cheers, or whatever dude, you huh? call it. 
I'm mm. so full. And Lisa, no. you'll just do the same right now. Dude, that is like cool, butter, so. dude. <laughs> Is it 27? Is it really? Is it anything like that? No, you know what it actually is? This is a Mexican Lucky Strike. It's oh, hell well, yeah, dude. Like God, in Mexico. Ooh, dude, head for the border, dude. Did we actually, I have a lot of thoughts Dude, I'm living moss, dude. <laughs> Look at that. It's a terrible policing at the border. <laughs> Lucky Strikes from Mexico. This debate is brought to you by Lucky <laughs> Strikes from Mexico. All right, dude. Janet, you want to, like, fucking uh, tote this or whatever? Yeah, Janet, oh, I like, she here go I go. Fucking take it. Right? Why don't you turn towards the camera so they can see you do it? No, but it's so good. And why don't you just turn and face the camera? <laughs> and why don't you turn and face towards the camera? I, you missed it. I had a ton of it. And so why don't you go ahead and just turn and do it again now that you're facing the camera? No, it's good. And you seem to be no, uncomfortable by the smoke being near you. No, no, no. I just had so much. It's like... I'll take it. I had it. You saw it. I, I did. had it. I didn't actually see it. I didn't get to see it. Um, <coughs> Duncan, you want to you want to top this off, man? Uh, nah, dude. Actually, dude, if, if I anything, eat that too like... much, I'm gonna be fucking gassed for practice later, dude. Coach has us running two days to relax, and I like I'm I'm trying to like save my lungs, dude. Also, like you don't want to after I sucked I sucked on it so hard. It's like you, you it's all wet now. Yeah, you definitely did it. Damn, dude. <laughs> And I feel, and I feel it in my lungs right now. It's like, mm, you know that feeling you get when you smoke, when you're just like. Um, Why don't you describe it, Link? Why don't you go ahead and describe that feeling at length? Oh, okay. Well, at first it's like, yeah, my yeah, damn. You know? Yep. It's like yeah, so far you're damn. right. So far you're right. Okay. And go from there. Okay, and so like it starts there, but then all of a sudden you're just kind of like, can we get? Can we? Get, can I? Have a, room? Can I get a room to think about this? You'd like, so the next part of smoking a cigarette like, is asking for a private room yeah, to go like, think about the cigarette. Yeah, it's like, can I be alone? <laughs> can I just be alone right now? Because, and then, of course, then it hits your stomach. You breathe it into your stomach? Well, I just feel it in my stomach. Kind of, uh, like when you eat a, like a and that's your time. We have another question from Super Pizza. Do you guys remember Dare? <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, I was not a volunteer for Dude, this. fucking Double Dare, dude? That was my shit, dude. Oh, Song time uh, live. Dude, uh, what was that guy's name who hosted that oh, shit? Oh, oh, we, I love Mark that Mark Summers. Guy. Dude, Mark Summers, dude? It was dude, Mark that Summers. Dude, that shit fucks, dude. And, and it was Mark wrong. Summers who hosted that show that you... Dude, that I would on. actually, though, crush a physical challenge, though, man. If you got me, fucking Tyler, Derek, uh, and Bryce, me. um, uh, Chad, all on a fucking team, dude, we would crush that shit, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I fucking love Double Dare, dude. Thank you for that question. And I watch so much TV, also. <laughs> and I, so, well then, so why don't, why don't you just go ahead and answer that question then? Why don't you? What was the question? Do you remember Dare? And tell us what you remember about. Oh, of course I remember Dare. I used to always make fun of the the stupid songs where they're like, smoking is dumb. Really cool cats, don't try it. <laughs> stupid smoking won't do a thing for you. And I was like, I, but I'm doing it. Cool but you don't cats know that? pass right by you it. You don't know that you're saying? You don't know what you're saying right now? I didn't listen at all okay. to that song. Okay. Don't smoke, be smart, unless you want an unhappy heart with fingers and teeth all stained pretty bad, and a cough and a breath that gets other folks mad. I never listened to that song. I was like... Damn, dude, what's the opposite of a banger, dude? Yeah, because <laughs> that's a great question. The opposite of a fucking song. And I song. think we all agree. Yeah, like the all well, and that's what I'm saying. Everyone that's what I'm saying. Kind of and that's right. what I'm saying. I hate, I hate that song. And I don't... I love the same songs that you like. Oh, dude. Uh, uh, Ross you... saying you're being smokesist. That's a very interesting stance. Uh, that probably get you in some trouble as well. That's true, dude. Uh, and so that's we like did have a request. Man. Before we end, and this will be our final question for these two 
candidates. Before we end, can we have Duncan look me in the eyes and promise me the Browns are going to win it all this year? So, Duncan, why don't you go oh, no. uh, look them in the eyes and tell them the Browns will win it all? Uh, dude. Um, Take off your sunglasses when you look someone in the eyes, Duncan. Huh? Uh, right on, dude. Uh, Nah, dude. I can't do that. And Duncan, just take take the sunglasses off when you're talking to the public. <laughs> and if anyone has policy questions, too. All right, dude. Um, basically, um, the Browns are fucked, dude. But like, maybe if they get a better O line, um, and they get some decent draft picks, they got a shot. But honestly, dude, I can't even like in good conscience say that because I'm like a hardcore ass Colts fan, dude. Um, I think Andrew Luck is maybe the best thing that's ever happened to me. Is he um, still playing? Uh, <laughs> I don't know I, where he's going. I, I'm just a, I'm, I'm honestly an Andrew going. Luck fan, um, but like, um, yeah, I, I support the, the Colts. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, if you're, if you're a Browns fan, I feel sorry for you. Oh, um, uh, good, so yeah. like, um, uh. if it, if it helps you, um, uh, good luck in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Great. And so that was your yeah, final question. Good luck question. in the Super Bowl. And I'll give a final question for Miss Franklin as well from Super Pizza. Can you please describe the taste with any alcohol, anything at all? Oh, but <laughs> it's hard to pick because I like them all. <laughs> I like them all, so I so have just to pick one and say anything about it. Okay. Um, I don't know. Throw out a throw out any. What's your favorite then? Um, uh, what's the one that you like to drink the most? That well, I don't want to give it away by listing one because right now I'm not even sure you could name an alcohol. Oh, so let's no, start with I step can't. one and have you name uh, any type of alcohol. Okay, um, it's got to be, um, I like a, uh, I like a mix, I like a, a mix of, uh, I like a little mix of, of beer and wine. Okay, those were two alcohols, so now describe either. I like a mix of, of, and, okay, so on the one hand, <laughs> you've got beer, which yes. is, um, it's, uh, it's kind of surprising <laughs> what happened. Now speak further on that. Because, uh, because you think that it would be, like, milk. You you think beer would be milk, but it's not. But it's not. But it isn't. But it isn't. You think it, uh, and then, but it's not. And instead, it's it's beer. Wow. It's well. Beer. Oh, dude, beer. Thank you to our candidates. Look at uh, Lisa Franklin's review of beer. As you think it'd be surprising. Please it check out my milk. website for a, dude, dude, a bunch of. Dude, Yo, you're still plans. on the stage, Duncan. Dude. You're gonna stay on the stage. This guy, dude. This Duncan. fucking guy, dude. Duncan, I want you to back up. Dude, Get fucking give it up for this guy, dude. What was your name again, dude? My name's David Niven Duncan. I want you to yeah, I'm gonna flash you. Dude, check out my SoundCloud, dude. Um, basically, wow. uh, we're gonna revolutionize music. Um, shout out um, to all my boys. Uh, Tyler, we hope you find your mom. Um, oh, no. uh, this is legit as hell. Okay, um, I know you said you were gonna flash me just now, and it did allow me to look closer and see you're wearing two bras right now. So it, 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 that's not gonna be effective. And yeah, either way, I'm... no one wants that in their presidential candidate. Uh, this is a overcorrection. Well, guys, right please through. head to my website to check out a couple of uh, easy to read and easy to understand uh, policy positions and a general summary of how we're going to take down the system and that's not working time, for Americans. And you're out of time, as I said. So well, good, because i got to go shoot up. Okay. <laughs> again, huge overcorrection. Just a huge cool. overcorrection. Oh, my God. Uh, so let's uh, come back to me and let's sort of recap where we are at this point. Thank you all for joining us. This is the first Everything Now news that's on a network presidential debate. I am David Niven. We've seen a lot of candidates tonight. None of them have made any sense at all or have said anything of value, pretty much. And so I am hoping. Uh, David, I hate the beast, and Ratcoin, please be quiet about that because the beast wouldn't like to know it's being snuffed in that way. Is David Niven running for president? Is David Niven running for president? Well, I was a long time ago. I guess we could see my uh, old campaign ad, but I don't know. I feel a little silly uh, doing it. <laughs> Um, to the 
the teens in your community bully you too often? Uh, do they make you feel bad and, in, and insecure about yourself? Not any longer. Uh, when David Niven is elected president, uh, everyone will show some damn respect and they'll show some, some damn self-control and, and, and learn to be aware of other people's emotions and how to be empathetic towards those emotions because it's not right when they just ridicule you and you're just trying to do your job and you're just trying to be nice and helpful and, and you follow rules, you always follow rules. You were told by a psychic that you, you tend to follow rules. They said you, it's something to do with Saturn you don't know psychics that well, so you kind of just accepted it as like, okay, yeah, I'm sort of a rule-based guy. And you said, okay. And then people hate you for that. They hurt you for that. And they make you feel bad and weak. And when I'm president, you'll feel strong. You all feel so strong, and those teens, those teens will shut the hell up. Whoa. And for one minute, no, 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 you'll all shut up. Whoa. You'll all just shut up for one damn minute. Whoa. And you'll let someone with something that freaking say talk. Good finally. No, all of you will, will listen for one freaking minute. Just one house. minute. Oh, yeah, oh, it's 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 I hate it's you. It's and thank you. Uh, that was my ad. I, as soon as I focus grouped it, I was immediately told I had no chance of uh, getting into office. So I sort of moved on. And started a new thing. Well, <coughs> we are back with our next set of candidates. Let's take a look at the topic. We're going to try to stick with gun rights because we really only got through one. So let's meet our next set of candidates. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Um, Oh, it wasn't very focused. I think with some coaching could be about good. Well, thank you, Sir Jesus. I appreciate that. Maybe in 2024, I'll, I'll give it a better chance, or a better shot. So, uh, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. You want to go first? You want to go first? You want to go first? Either one of you just got I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Reggie. Uh, I'm not sure how any of you guys got in here. Uh, this building has been condemned and is planning <laughs> on being demolished. Um, I just came sure? in to tell you all that, oh. so you can all evacuate immediately. Mm. Uh, we are coming in uh, with a bulldozer and about uh, 3,000 tons of dynamite to take this building down. Uh, Mr. Reggie, are you running for president? Um, I did not plan on doing that today. Well, then I think we have to ask you to leave. Oh, no, no, I am asking you guys to leave because you will all die if you do but not evacuate the building. us here. We are in the middle of a debate. This is pretty We outnumber you, bro. We you outnumber you. No, I don't think you guys understand. Why don't you just say your lives are in away. danger? Why don't you just sort of move? There are at least stage. There are at least 4,000 people in the stands right now. Please so find great. your nearest exits. That's so great. They are located wow. On either so side, great. So great what you're there saying. are three in the back. And we're all so there are also impressed. some right down by the stages. Wow, look at but that. please, and yeah, uh huh, we all hear you. Let but me tell just, you, we're sort of in the middle of a thing, and we're like, we're trying to, we're trying to do it. So if you wouldn't mind just sort of leaving, so we could wrap up uh, our debate here. Okay, uh, I am running for president. Ah, okay, great. Woo! Well then, Reggie. Uh, My platform is to evacuate this building. Great, and so let's meet our other candidate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my real name is Ricky, but uh, your real name is Ricky. My real name is Ricky, but you probably know me from my many gimmicks. Um, <laughs> I was the big fuck for a while. That was about in the '90s during the Attitude Era, and then um, earlier than that, I was weirdly enough Ching Chong, which is weird because I'm Samoan. <laughs> but you don't know, really got a lot of other, uh, you know. Pan Asian dudes out there. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. So uh, right, I kind of went back to the big fuck recently. Mm, so, absolutely. Um, <laughs> oh, and Ratcoin says, "Hey, Reggie, there's an exit right down here, pal." And I imagine he would then grab his crotch when he said that to you. <laughs> yeah. Or something. Oh. Yeah. Some that is funny. Be, that will crazy. also be one of the last jokes you make if you do not evacuate the building. So our first are, you are you knowledge. threatening the American public, brother? I'm threatening the public that exists inside this building and that will be dead if they remain in this building. So, so the question about gun rights. Uh, right. 
Let me see if I can. Get, I got it here. Yeah. So dig deep into the recesses of your mind. Do you see an image? Look closer. It's a specific shape. That shape is the beast. Living deep in the crevices of your soul. Do not fear him, for he is you. He is me. We are all the beast. And with that in mind, should the CDC be able to research gun use to better articulate what's needed to uh, fix this national epidemic? And let's start with. Uh, thank you, Ricky. thank you. You thank will you never well. escape. Boring news. Let's go over to Ricky. Thank you very much. Um, I think I understood the question. Um, uh, I own three guns personally. <laughs> Um, I have a Spaz 12, and then I have two Uzis that I keep in my truck at all times. And uh, I love holding them both at the same time. It makes me feel really good. Um, that's how I stand on guns, I don't know. Uh, if by the beast you mean the uh, great infestation of, uh, of mold that was found inside of this building, uh, then yes, I have acknowledged this beast. And no, I mean, so has the rest of my crew, and we I are mean, planning beast, to I mean, completely the demolish this building well, in the next the five minutes. I'm so please the evacuate. The power, the all knower, the all seer, the all doer. Now the be the beast was a gimmick from the eighties, actually, and I beat the crap out of that guy. He's not in wrestling anymore. In no, fact, no, no, he no. runs he runs a car dealership out in Pacoima. I am aware of the you're talking about, but I'm talking about the beast. You guys know the beast. Oh, okay, the beast. that beast. Okay, yeah. The now, beast. I try not to think about him often, he just kind of comes to me in my well, dreams. Well, you have to think, if you would like to be in charge, you're going to be working closely with the beast. So That's fair. Oh, uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll, put my, I'll put my body on the line uh, for the beast so that you all don't have to worry about him. That's kind of what I do on a daily basis. I'm a big tables, ladders, and chairs guy. Uh, I've jumped off of a 30, 30 feeter, 40 feeter, 50 feeder. Um, they haven't built 60 foot ladders. But uh, the moment they do, I jump off of that too if I'm keeping the beast away from you and in this body. I'm going to give everyone free money. <laughs> okay. I Ooh! promise that everyone will have free money. Wow, and Reggie, uh, I don't think people I will definitely like that. Well, I, I also don't... promise free smoothies wow. for everyone. And everyone. Woo, Love yeah! it. Yeah. Can we just say stuff like that? Okay. I also promise a uh, 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 Gold teeth for uh, everyone can go into the dentist and get their teeth replaced with with gold teeth. Fantastic! That sounds good. You are out of time. So and all now of, uh, I will. Uh, you're out of time. And the that only is it, and that is it for you. You're no longer allowed to speak because this is the end of the question. Uh, so please don't good. cross me on that. It's really important. You don't. The only way to get free stuff again, is to evacuate. Listen, the building. listen. I decide when you're done talking. Do you understand that? It is chaos without that. It is chaos without that. If we don't have that, if we don't have that, it will be chaos. I'm sorry. We're gonna move on to taxes. All right. <clears throat> Reggie, don't you feel that we're paying too much in taxes, except in regards to the beast, or maybe we're paying too little in taxes? I'm gonna go. Yes, Reggie, talk. You go. I'm, you know, I'm going to leave. Oh, you're no longer running. I'm if, as if running means running out of this building because it will be demolished in two and a half minutes. Then yes, I will be running as fast as I can, as far as I can, and I suggest all of you do the same because that is there's these halls will be filled with blood. And, well, so that's and disappointing. You were polling very well uh, in the sort of live debate analysis we were doing with the voters. You were really, people were really resonating with you, so it's a shame, right? And if you Would want you the like smoothies and you want the money, you got to get out of here. Do you want to All of you! Do you want to How many of you have children? Hey, How many hey, of your hey, children hey, are hey, expecting hey, you to come home tonight? Hey, Reggie, if you could just shut up for a second. Um, You're not going to come home to them do you want to if you stay in this do you building. Do a candidate before you leave? We're going to be blowing up! There's so candidate. much mold. Do you want to just pick a candidate to endorse before you? It's leave? spreading to other structures. We have to. We have to kill it at, at the epicenter. Do you want to? Just or pick else it will spread. It will cause another plague. We must destroy this whole place and every trace candidate. of it. You don't understand. Do you want to just pick one quick candidate to endorse before you leave? Just like one person who you think is. I don't know. I like. Watch. I saw a pirate. I liked him. He was cool. Oh, okay. Scrabby. You're thinking of Scrabby. 
So. Sure. So Reggie endorses Scrabby. Uh, Ricky, do you want to take that question about taxes and the beast? Yeah, I don't pay my taxes, but uh, I mean, honestly, again, as long as the beast stays away from you guys, it just kind of keeps me motivated on a bodily level to beat the shit out of myself, then uh, I'll pay whatever tax I gotta. I mean, listen, like, I, I, you're my tag partner, but you're down on the ropes. I'm on the side here, and I'm like, tag me in, brother! You got it! And you're like slowly crawling. Who's the you? Who's the you in this scenario? The, it's the American people. Oh, okay. You, David, if you were to, you know, be the American people, you're voting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you're down on the ground. You're like crawling very slowly. You can probably crawl faster, but, you know, as a wrestler, you're trying to sell, trying to pretend that you're actually hurt. What are you doing? Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to come in there. I'm going to take the blows from the beast. I'm going to do whatever I got to do, like, do whatever for my body. What are you doing right now? What's going on over there? I'm placing a satellite phone on your desk. If anyone is trapped under rubble, you can use it to call me. You're still here. Yeah, you. I am still here. I, I, there has been literally no one. I thought someone left, but they just came back and said they were going to the bathroom really loud. They All made right. sure that they weren't leaving. That's time. Yeah, I'm going to the bathroom. And, and that's your go. right. There must be a second person. And that's your right. There. All right, so we're going to move on. Thank you to these two candidates. Get out of here! Only one candidate in the end, really, which was disappointing. Please! Do this candidate, and please. Look, could I just do my, my special note? I have decided that we are no longer taking that question, and yet you are talking. Do you understand? Do you understand the risk? Do you understand the danger that you are presenting? Do you understand the stakes Goodbye. of what you're doing? And yes, please do whatever you want to do. Okay, great. So I mean, you all know me, and you all love me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna do it for you. All right. Ugh. It's okay if I just do it on this guy. Sure. Cool. So then I, you know, you all know it and love it. I kind of grab him by the leg here and I bring him down on the ground. And I look around because you know what time it is. And I run to this rope over here. And I run to this rope over here. And I go outside the ring, and I grab a 40-footer, bring it into the ring, climb it all the way up. And I look around, and you know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. I check my watch. I check my watch on the inside of my wrist. I pull out a watch from my ankle, and look at that one, put it back. I climb back down the ladder. I grab him, bring him up the ladder, and I look like I'm going to choke slam him down. But I bring them back down just because it's like, you know, for the sake of anticipation. Bring them all myself back up. And then I jump off the ladder, land next to him. I don't land on him. And then I just kind of hit him with my leg. And everyone just kind of, you know, explodes. And I can see you're all loving it. Yes, thank you. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. And I promise I'll do that on any world leader that you want me to do it on. several other podiums with several other candidates. Yeah, I thought those are fans. Okay, so I'm just... We're going to move on to our next two candidates. Okay, yes, yes. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I'll show you the bathroom! Stay oh, on you, you know where the bathroom is. All right. slash what's his name slash whatever right here <laughs> David uh, I can see how you would be confused about that but I'm actually a different person uh, with a different candidacy and a completely different platform. So you can at least see why I'm confused because the last guy saw no resemblance so you can at least acknowledge the three of you look incredibly alike absolutely and part of today's problem in America is that starting a long story. Uh, you got people uh, who look similar 
And uh, when I was growing up, uh, I'm sorry, part of people, today's problem, <laughs> part of today's problem in America is you've got people that look similar. That's right. Uh, obviously, we should be striving for diversity, and that's what oh, okay. uh, I really mean. Uh, but more importantly, when I was growing up, everybody looked the same. Uh, uh, you would walk down the street, uh, and it would feel like you were looking into a mirror everywhere you went. Um, that's got to change. Uh, my kids' kids, and my kids' kids' yeah, kids, kids, and my kids' 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 kids, their fathers, fathers' fathers, uh, and their grandfathers' fathers uh, didn't raise themselves in this country to, to look into the mirror or to look at the person across from them and see the same person uh, that they see every day. Um, and so I want to change that. Uh, my name is Scott Thompson, uh, and I'm here uh, to ask you, the American people, to go to my website, uh, DanAnderson. Dot, dot, uh, Scott Thompson. Um, uh, Dan Anderson. Two Charles Dan Smith. Andersons. Two Dan Andersons. Uh, one dot one net. Dot biz. And you don't think any of these people? Um, I don't understand the question. Okay, thank you. Who's our next candidate? I'm Gladly. What did you just say? I'm Gladly. Well, uh, hi, Gregory. Hi. Uh, do you want to be president of the United States? I'll be president. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's exciting. Um, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Gary? Seven. You're seven. I'm seven. You're seven. I'm that's seven. So great. <laughs> crowd, let's let's give it up for Gary. I don't know why we got here, but I had a dinosaur birthday. birthday. You had a dinosaur birthday. I had a dinosaur that's birthday. so exciting and that's so sweet, Gregory. I um, like the big one. You like the big one. I like the big one. The big dinosaur. Key. And what's its name? Do you know its name? Its name is... No, that's the sound it makes. What do you oh, think its name is? It's green. Okay, that's the color. Gregory, we're going to come back to you later. Gregory. All right. Great. Let's and get. children like Gregory remind me of my child. Yeah, please don't start My story. child's child. Uh, and when they were growing up, they looked at, uh, out into the American public and they saw their fathers and their grandfathers and their grandfathers' children's uh, sons and daughters and grandpa's grandpa's uncle's yeah, aunts. He's just waiting for a uh, that's never going to come because he's just a very uncaptivating And candidate. they looked around and they said, what are we doing here? What, what's America become? And that's a question that I'd like to answer for you American people at home today. Uh, if you just go to my website, of course, uh, Dan Anderson, Dot Charles Scott, uh, Scott Charles, Dan Michael, Dot Gov Dot Biz. Uh, we can fight this together. And sorry, uh, when you say one word or less, just as many. <laughs> could you could you help me understand what you mean when you say less Get than this one message word? Message across, and the maximum words you are allowed is one. However, the minimum words you are allowed is not one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Mm -hmm. So this question is in one word or less. What programs would you cut to allow a debt reduction without a tax increase? Something that no one wants, but nevertheless, I am stating is needed. Vegetables. What was that, Gregory? Vegetables. 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 I don't like it. Oh, so you don't want that? I don't. Want, I want cut vegetables. Okay, okay, Gregory, that's fine. But we were hoping for a plan to fix. Hey, do you know what? Do you know what uh, the debt ceiling is? Dan, Dan, Dan ceiling. Because you should if you're gonna be president. I Does it have vegetables in it? No. Okay, I want it. Okay, okay. Gregory doesn't know, but it's very cute. Uh, and so let's go over to Dan or Charlie or whatever your name is at this point. Scott. Scott uh, my name sure. is Scott. Uh, and if I only get one word, uh, then I'd like to You're using a ton use of words that right word now. 
Right uh, now, so many words are being said. To direct people to the URL, oh, which is the type of word, I'm looking and that's one of these Dan Anderson dot Scott Johnson on Michael Richard. No one has been Scott. <laughs> Ryan yeah, dot totally gov dot one. Scott dot and Michael so Scott. Just get one word, uh, not from the office. And just one of these uh, words John, instead of all of them. Brian so many, and I just Scott need Anderson dot just want the one twenty twenty dot gov dot biz dot net dot online. words out of the one, and that didn't work. Uh, thank you, both of our candidates here. Uh, I think we can all agree that uh, Scott or whatever is actually Dan, and that Gregory is just adorable. He's just such a cutie little sweetheart. So, let's move on to the military industrial complex. Gregory, you know what military industrial complex is? Military industrial complex. Yeah, you said it, but do you know what it is? Uh, five tribes. No, it's the people who make money off destruction. What, what money for? Money, oh gosh, Gregory. What a money for? You said it, you know what money is? <laughs> That's so scary. They for pizza. That's not good. That's not good. Um, well, let's start with question one, military industrial complex. Uh, don't we all love it? And that's to you, Dan, or Scott, or Charles. Great. Uh, and this is actually an issue that uh, I care really deeply about. You know, a lot of other candidates are going to have superficial answers about this, uh, but this is something that affects me personally. Uh, because my son is in the military, uh, and his son uh, has a son who uh, has you two fathers story about um, not uh, related Nothing to each other. Uh, their grandfather had two sons. Uh, and those sons grew up to become totally fathers irrelevant. of their own. Uh, and so when they went out, they started a business, uh, a small business with, uh, with their own. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Gregory. Yeah, Gregory. Um, and it seems like uh, my fellow candidate here is voicing his own opinion, so I'm just going to direct. He's saying you're uh, a duty fart. Is what I think. Duty people, fart. He's a duty fart. To my website. He's a duty fart. He's a total duty fart. Which is, of I'm course, uh, Scott Anderson, Brad Anderson, uh, Roger, uh, Michael Scott. And Great, we uh, kind of get it. There's a long website. So, Gregory, let's go over to you. Mr. Gregory, yeah, go. Scott, yeah, go. Uh, 2020. Mr. Gregory, go, yeah, go. I think that it was after World War II that we, when we converted to a war economy, where the defense contractors really started to buy up with the whatever political system we were in, left or right, and whatever happened that each president has increased the military budget, even Barack Obama, and it's really just, it's, you know, it doesn't necessarily matter which direction we're going in the country, it's, we're always increasing military power, and so, we, we, Dwight Eisenhower won by the military, that's a conflict, we just need a really allocate more resources to the humanities, and, and if we're not even taking care of our veterans, we've got to make sure, where we go, go showing them off to work, we can't even pay for their health care, VA. Wow, and the chat says third guy looks like Spider Man. There you go. <laughs> Incredibly done, Gregory. That was so good. And also, yesterday, I had saw a cat. You had saw a cat? I had saw a big cat. You had saw a cat? It was so big. Your cat? Is it your cat? Is it my cat? Is it your cat? I don't know, Gregory. I don't know what the cat you're talking about is. What cat? What cat was it, Gregory? That's big brown cat on the ground. Okay. Okay, that's that's cute, right? Yeah, it was so cute. Cool. And speaking of cats, animal rights are an issue. And Dan, we didn't that really a lot know. of Americans. And my name is Dan, Scott. Is and, uh, and, and animal rights Scott. are an issue. It was Scott, and it will okay. continue to be Scott. Uh, you might be confusing my name with my website, which is of course uh, Dan Anderson dot Scott dot Michael uh, Richard uh, Charles Scott dot biz.uk.online uh, uh, backslash forward slash uh, forward slash spelled out not a forward slash but the word forward slash uh, dot biz dot Dan Anderson. Um, but what I was saying is uh, animal rights are a huge issue and my son's son uh, has two grandchildren of his own uh, and those sons uh, both have beautiful fathers and grandfathers uh, who served in the military uh, and, and respect the troops and the troops have animals uh, who are incredibly important so to sustaining uh, our, our nation. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be and we'll take that one clap and yep. we will count that. Yep. 
We will that count is, that clap smart. as an applause. That's smart. Uh, and so thank you. Uh, thank you for your undying support. Uh, please donate at dan.scott.charlesanderson <laughs> backslash forward slash, again, forward slash spelled out. It is confusing, um, but you have to spell out the word forward slash. Um, and then, uh, dot 2020.biz.gov.net. Dot dot Great, and that's your time. Uh, what an incredible job all of our candidates have done tonight. And unfortunately, we have so many other candidates that I didn't really get to even get to because they're just down all the way that way. Uh, so hopefully the next debate, maybe we'll start on the other side and sort of work our way over and meet in the middle. But I want to thank all of our candidates. Gregory, Gregory, you did so good. Thank you. You did so good. Thank you. Hey, guys, how about for Gregory, right? Do I have, do I have, do I have, do I have, do I have boogies in my nose? Oh, yeah, everyone's got boogers in their nose. No, That's my okay. mom does it. You did such a good <laughs> job, buddy. I want to give you a little gift, all right? Because you did so well. This is one cigarette, okay? Oh, for me? Yes. Oh. When you get a little older, smoke this in your basement and get nauseous. Okay? There you go, son. And uh, that'll start everything. And that reminds me of my first cigarette. Uh, <laughs> when I was uh, just a boy, my dad gave me uh, his dad's cigarettes. Uh, and they were old, and, uh... Please, Scott, Dan, whatever, just, like, shut up, man. Just, I don't know which one you are. I don't know what you believe or think. You tell these long stories about nothing. You always talk about your son, 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 sons. Shut the hell up, all right? And that's an opinion up, shared listen, by a lot up. of Americans. Listen, and look I'd at me. To... Look at me. Shut up. Okay? Great, and uh, I will shut up, but first I do want to direct people to my website. And oh my. I do feel like I'm feeling some sort of rumbling, um, so I want to make sure that I do get uh, that website out really quick, uh, as quickly as I can. And of course, that's dananderson.scott.michael.charles.smith.2020 uh, 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 backslash forward slash, again, forward slash spelled out, F-O-W-A-R-D-S-L-A-S-H dot gov dot biz dot online. Uh, backslash, and that is a backslash. Hello? Uh, oh my. Um, so, uh, hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. This has been another episode of Everything Now. I am Dr. Teacher. Um, uh, we, we're live every, every Wednesday and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will have a new episode this Sunday. Um, phew, raid. Let's uh, let's raid somebody, huh? That's uh, I'll take our mind off of uh. Oh, God. We're gonna we're gonna raid our good friend uh, the Spud Hunter. Uh, t t tell him about the good things that happened today. Tell Spud about all the fun, all the fun you had, uh, maybe up until the, the past minute or two. Um, thank you guys so much. 
Uh, I hope you learned something new. And uh, do, 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 uh, goodbye. Uh, bye. Love you.